everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. I hope you're all doing well. So today I thought I would film a quick and easy get ready with me just for those that are like back to school, work, uni and stuff like that and are always in a rush in the morning. So it's gonna be like a 15 minute kinda get ready with me, do my hair and my makeup and stuff. Just something super simple for when you're in a rush in the mornings. So before I get stuck into the get ready with me, I kinda wanna talk about what I've done with my area before I get stuck in. So I also use this space as like a working area as well as like a getting ready area. And I wanted to add like just a little bit of wall art just to kind of like spruce it up a wee bit and make it feel a little more cozy. I decided to go for this amazing print from Mapiful, which is kindly gifted to me. So this small part of the video is in collaboration with them. So Mapiful is an online business that has the tools to kind of let you customize your own prints just to kind of your own liking. So you can go on and edit them and zoom in and add your own colors and stuff like that and just kind of make them your own. So whether it be your place of birth, your favorite city, your happy place, you can go online and choose wherever you want just to frame and put in your workspace just to like make it a wee bit more cozy. Not only do they do matte prints, they also do star alignment prints. They do zodiac prints and they do text art prints. They also sell the frames that they come in. So they do a standard frame that kind of goes around it and then the one like this, so it's at the bottom and the top. You can completely customize them, do your own liking and make them completely unique, meaning it's very unlikely that anyone's gonna have the same print as you. They have actually kindly given me a link for you all for the free back to school kit, which is for everyone and anyone. Like you don't have to be going back to school to use this. It's completely for anyone it has so many things in it so the things it includes is a spotify playlist meditation tips tips on how to decorate your workspace recipes coloring pages to-do lists weekly planners motivational quotes and more like they have so many different things on there definitely go on their website and have a play about with it i had so much fun creating this print i just got it um a belfast print as that's where i'm from so i kind of just got it zoomed in so you can kind of like see the docks and stuff here like it's so nice and i just really like like the black and white minimalistic print of it you can get them in all sorts of colors so you can get like the black background with the white and i'm pretty sure it's like navy and pinks and stuff so you can definitely get so many different styles and colors to kind of suit your workspace but yeah, like I said, I had so much fun making it and I love it so, so much. They also do free worldwide shipping. So if you're going to order, like that always comes in handy because no matter where you are in the world, then you can get your hands on one of these. All my full details will be in the description box below. Thank you so much to them for sending me this gorgeous print. I am so in love with it. And you know what? Like this would be so nice, even in like a kitchen or something, not even just a workspace, like any room you could jazz up with these prints. Um, I'm definitely gonna go on and order more because I really like the text art style prints. Like they're really, really funky looking. So I think I'm gonna go on and get one of those. But yeah, definitely check out the links in the description box if you're interested in any other prints. Okay, so now onto the stuff you've all been waiting for is the get ready with me. So my hair needs washed so bad. So can we please excuse that? Okay, so because my hair needs wash, I am just going to go for a ponytail today. My roots are so, so bad, so can we excuse that too? So I'm going to, my I have really bad like baby hairs and like flyaways and stuff. So after I like brush through it and get it all tap free, I'm going to go in with some oil. So it's already greasy because it needs wash. So why not add some more oil to the mixer? So I'm just going to get my Moroccan oil in light. This stuff is a godsend. It's so good for especially blondes. Like it just hydrates my hair so much. And just put it through my hair, including where I get the flyaways. So I'm just gonna like go like this. And this is gonna help my hair sit nice and as flat as possible. It's not gonna be perfect because I do have a lot of baby hairs. So yeah, it's not gonna be perfect, but um, this just kind of helps it a wee bit. So just like that. And I'm just gonna get like a normal hair bubble like this. I do prefer a scrunchie, but it doesn't like sit as tight as I want it usually. So I'm just gonna like flip my head over and put it into a nice tight ponytail. So yeah, I've just kind of got it like this, all nice and tight. Um, and then I'm just gonna do the bubble over three times. Obviously everybody's hair is gonna be different, depending on how thick your hair is. Sometimes it only go two times. So yeah, this is it in the ponytail. And then what I'm gonna do is like, I have these wee bits that like stick up. So I'm gonna, even if you don't have bits that stick up, you could still do this, just grab a piece of hair. So I'm gonna grab them shorter bits that stick up. 
and a few wee curry grips and I'm just gonna like wrap them around to make like cover the hair bubble so if you can see that and then I'm gonna just wrap it right around the ponytail and then I'm just gonna literally just fasten it into place so it doesn't move because my hair is layered I do need to kind of go in the two just like that and as you can see like these wee bits of baby hairs are just a nightmare like they just don't stay behind but this is kind of what I'm going for so a nice tight as possible ponytail with the kind of wrap around the, the bobble I just think it's so nice and then if you want if you want then you can just go in with a wee bit of hairspray to keep everything together so that's my hair done nice and quick and easy but it makes it a wee bit more like nicer because it has that wee wrap around the bobble i'm gonna go in with my bb cream so i don't like using foundation kind of every day just because it is a bit heavier so it's for something quick and easy and just for work it's nice to use bb cream so the one i'm going to use is the elevate heel bb cream this is 199 from home bargains and i absolutely love it there's only three shades in it though and i get the shade of light and i wouldn't have that out of skin so if you are super super pale then it probably won't be for you but yes oh my god i can taste that hairspray so i'm just gonna wet my beauty blender which is also from home bargains with this nyx g finish setting spray i just feel like this makes it sit so much better than just water all the stuff in this tutorial by the way is definitely um affordable so even if you are going back to school and you're on a budget and um, this will be great so i'm just gonna kind of put this is a very like thickish bb cream so it has like pretty good coverage in it which you want so i'm just kind of gonna go in and like blend it all into my skin with the beauty blender just nice and light i feel like a beauty blender is the most effective way to blend in your bb cream just to make it very natural and glowy and stuff so you that's all blended in I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Eraser in the shade Ivory. I absolutely love this stuff. Like it's so good coverage. I used to use the collection one and it is really good but I do prefer this one. I'm just going to kind of put it under my eyes, here, here, down my nose. And this just kind of adds a wee bit more coverage to that BB cream and I'm just going to blend it out with the same beauty blender. So that's all blended in and then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lasting Fix Loose Setting Powder, the all day matte finish. So it just looks like this, it's really affordable, it's like five pounds or something. And I'm just going to go in with a fluffy brush and put it like under my eyes and just like where I would crease like here and like my T-zone. After that I'm going to go in with my NYX Fill and Fluff um, Eyebrow Pencil in shade taupe so it's just like this be like a crayon on one side and then like a wee brush on the other side so i'm just gonna go ahead and fill my brows in with that just very lightly nothing crazy just like filling in any wee sparse areas just to define them a wee bit more so you And then if they're still a wee bit too harsh looking, then you can go in with the wee brush that it comes with and just kind of blend everything together. After that, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. So I'm going to go in with my Sleek Makeup Palette in Light. So it comes with a little bronzer and a highlighter. So I'm going to be using both of these. Again, very affordable. And I'm just going to kind of buff it in just where I want to look a wee bit more bronzed. After that, I'm going to go in with my Olivia Heel Blush in the shade Rosie. Um, this again, it's from Home Morgans. I absolutely love the Olivia Heel range. Like, it's so good for the price of it. And I'm just going to take this angle brush and go in just the smallest amount. I'm not very good at putting blusher on, so um, 
I like to use just the smallest one. And then I'm gonna go with my fan brush and my highlighter that's in my slick palette and just kind of go along my cheekbone above my eyebrow, under my eyebrow, should I say, down my nose, and my cupid's bow. See that on the chin? I love a bit of highlighter, if you can tell. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, um, Warm Neutrals this one is, and I'm just gonna go in with one shade because I don't have time for that in the morning, so I'm just gonna go in with like this brownie shade here, I just kind of like buff it into my crease, so just kind of buffing it in just to kind of give my eyes a wee bit more definition. If you want you can go in and add more than that, but I just kind of like adding one colour just for a bit of definition. I'm not a big eyeshadow person, so I do always tend to stick with like one or two shades. So that I'm gonna go in with this mascara. I I wouldn't say it's the best mascara. I got it in a glossy box and it's just for my bottom eyelashes because I actually have eyelash extensions on the top. So obviously I won't need to put them on the top. But yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this mascara. You can go in with any mascara and it'll do the job. Like, you know, as long as it has the right kind of wee brush. My lashes are so long, like see when I put mascara on them, they're just ridiculous. After that I'm going to go in with my Rosy Vaseline. So this one is so good because instead of putting lipstick on, like I like to just keep my lips hydrated when I'm not really going anywhere. So this is good because it has a wee tinge to it, so it adds like a wee pinky to it. So I'm just going to go in and add this to my lips. And as you can see, it adds just a nice natural pinky tone. And then when all that's done, I'm just going to go in with my NYX setting spray again. And this is the G finish one. I just kind of like spray everything so that it stays all day when you're working. This is the finished look. So pretty simple, really quick, literally took me like less than 15 minutes there, um, but just something really simple. Obviously my eyelash, eyelash, obviously my eyelash extensions make it a bit more dramatic looking. So if you like, obviously you could curl your eyelashes with a wee curler and put mascara on, or if you do have eyelash extensions then it'll probably be very similar to mine, but yeah. Very happy with how this turned out and this is just kind of what I look like when I'm going out to the shops or anything like that. The only time I'll put actual foundation and eyeshadow and stuff on is when I'm actually going out. out. So yeah this is just a great quick and easy get ready with me. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you did enjoy it and also all Mappafool's links in the description box will be there so definitely check them out and take advantage of that free back to school kit because it has some amazing stuff on it. And yeah I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Bye!